about 30% of what we spend every year gets wasted, about $810 billion. And that's a number that if we just could solve that problem, we could pay for all the people that need health care um, without raising taxes. We could solve um, up to half of our nation's debt problem of $16 trillion and do a lot to put our economy back on its feet. There are three main tenants. The first is we have to change the way the system is reimbursed. So if we start to pay people for better outcomes and for making people well, then I think we have a different objective, a better objective that will use our resources better. I think the second is that we need to really take care of the very sick in a concierge way is the way I like to think about it, where we actually bring all the right providers to bear on the individual that that individual needs versus having them have to wander through the system aimlessly to find it. And then third, we've got this investment in wellness we need to make. That's gonna take 20 to 25 years to manifest itself in the underlying health of the population by the absence of chronic disease. And until we start on that journey, we'll never really get there, but it's always a long-term investment. Our wellness programs are really aimed at finding individuals where they need help and inviting them to participate in programs that they might find interesting and then giving them some incentive to do it. So we have economic incentives for our employees to quit smoking, to exercise, to eat better. And so those programs need to be much more tuned to the individual. And I think we have the technology today and we have the insights today to better understand that. And for the vast majority of people, 76% of the population to 80% of the population, they're using the healthcare system on sort of a commodity-like basis, getting a flu shot, getting a lab test, picking up a prescription. And for those individuals, we should make the system real easy. There are a lot of mobile apps out there, but I think it's more about the mobile experience. What can I do when I open up the app that makes the system convenient for me? And so I think our shift in thinking over time as we look at our investments in mobile technology is how do we create the right consumer experience for individuals, but not everybody's a consumer. People in a car accident don't check their mobile phone for where they should go for their health care. They get stuck in an ambulance and taken somewhere. And so for those individuals, we need to surround them again with a team kind of concept, a concierge concept that helps get them as well as we can get them as soon as we can get them there. Our definition of an accountable care organization is a system that works together focused on the overall health of the population they serve. What do we need to do to improve the health of this population, which will make them more productive, which will make them more economically viable, which will make them happier? And I think that's sort of the goal.